two type of liquors in the Bible, and you have them today as well. You got wine and you got strong drink. Neither one of them is a sin. You know what I'm saying? Yahweh Shai says, um, John the Baptist came neither eating nor drinking, and y'all called him a devil. The son of man came eating and drinking. Y'all say, oh, a wine bibber, a glutton. It don't matter what we do, you're going to have something to say. So just shalom, hold your peace, and if you got any questions, type them in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Type them in the chat. This is the Brotherhood Class, ISUPK, the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge, under the leadership of Commander General Rihanna, who is the highest ranking man in Israel, who holds the command of the nation of Israel. You know what I'm saying? Well, we have to understand this. We have to understand the order and the structure. You know what I'm saying? So, what we got going on today is the topic is why do we study the Bible? Why do we why are we in these scriptures every day? Why are these black men with beards talking about the Bible every day? Why are they in the Old Testament? Why are they in the New Testament? Why are they in the Apocrypha? The reason why is because this is ours. You know what I'm saying? The Arabs got their stinking Quran. The Africans got their Yoruba and all that nonsense. You know what I'm saying? The Chinese people, man, got their they books. The, the, um, the so-called our pressure, he got his, his New King James Version. He got his NSV, his e EST. He got all types of translations that fit his agenda. The Bible is ours. If you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, the Bible is yours. Shalom. Y'all watching y'all with Shabrak You know what I'm saying? So what we're talking about today is why do we study this Bible so hard? And the first piece that we put it out today for class is Revelation chapter 1, verse 3. You can call it out when we got it, Bible for sure. Because I was going back and forth with my brother today, and I was just showing him... Love, UPK love, like you don't know anything. I'm like, you don't know anything. Instead of saying you don't know, he keeps bringing up Muhammad. What a prophet Muhammad, what a prophet Muhammad, what a prophet Muhammad, the prophet Muhammad. I said, do you know Muhammad wasn't a prophet? He said, what do you mean Muhammad wasn't a prophet? God sent his angel to talk to him. He said, God is the God of Israel. And the angels are the angels of Israel. You know what I'm saying? And they're not speaking to anybody else except Israelites. They like, yo, nah, nah, nah. So you saying Prophet Muhammad is a, a false prophet? Um, that's exactly what I'm saying. I said, do you know what the word God means? No clue. Do you know what the word prophet means? No clue. Do you know what the word angel means? No clue. And I just told him, I said, listen, you got to learn something first. Stop listening to like all that shatibiti jibiti jabbity from them Arabs, man. Let them have it. Let them have their Quran. Let them have their hajids. Let them have it. Black people need to figure out where is the God that looks like you and find him and search for him. Because there is a God. Shalom. Oh, God. Okay, all right. Shalom. Y'all about Shalom. Y'all about Shalom. The priest of officer Shiraz on deck. Come on, get in the chat. Uh, get, in the, get on them in the chat. You know what I'm saying? We got to find the nigga God. We have to find the God that looks like niggas. You know what I'm saying? And just so happened that it is the God of the Bible. Remember, the God of the Bible came to Moses and said, my, I seen what happened to my people. How Pharaoh and the Egyptians and them stinking Africans made us slaves. He said, go to Pharaoh and tell them, let my people go. That's what God we need to be finding. Mm -hmm. We need to be let go. We need to find the God of the Bible. You know what I'm saying? And he's the God of the slaves. And Moses came to Pharaoh and said, the God of the Hebrews came to me and told me to tell you to let my people go. That's the God that black people need to find out. And we need to make our way there and stop with all this nonsense with Islam. Stop with it. Stop. You know what I'm saying? You can, got, you can call that out when you got a book show. This is the book of Revelations. Chapter 1, verse 3. The war Akim and Akwafi in heaven. So we got a question. If God is only for the Israelites, why did he choose Ruth, who wasn't an Israelite? So 
what we teach in the ICPK is we teach that you need to drink the milk first. You know what I'm saying? You need to drink the milk, the basics, the foundations to understand the most high. We go into it all the time, Isaiah chapter 28, verse uh, 8 through 10. Who can understand knowledge? You will understand that Ruth is not a is, is not a Moabite. Mm -hmm. Ruth is actually an Israelite. And it is our custom to call a person by the land that they are in. Like we say, yo, they yo, that's from Alabama. The generals do it all the time. They call us Syracuse, New York, Georgia. Alabama, North Carolina, Vegas, you know what I'm saying? It's just, it's just our custom. But she was not a Moabite. Because if she was a, no, a Moabite, why would the council allow her to marry um, a brother from the royal family of the house of David or the house of Judah? They wouldn't have let, allow that to happen because marrying a, foreign, a foreigner is a sin. Mm -hmm. Marrying a Moabite is a sin. Marrying a Moabite is a sin. And in the book of Judges, right, and in the book of Judges, they they divided the land of Moab and gave it to one of the northern tribes, one of the northern kingdom. They gave it to them. They were they dwelt in the land of Moab. You know what I'm saying? So another question is saying, what God you said? The God of Israel. You know what I'm saying? And it's it's twelve tribes, so we have to understand this as well. And then during that time. Our tribe didn't always get along. In the book of Judges, we were at war with each other. Hence, when David became king, how he unified the nation. This is why the Most High signifies or uh, or highlights David. You know what I'm saying? Because there was many people and judges and prophets above, before David. But the, the, the nation of Israel was separated and scattered. You know what I'm saying? It was scattered. So, like, they were doing their own thing. It's a precept too in Judges that tell you at this time each tribe was just following after the imagination of their own heart. A lot of them wasn't even keeping the law, statutes, and commandments. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And especially when you start doing that, they we definitely start calling you by them heathen names. Mm -hmm. Or them the Grecians. Even they did it in the New Testament. Or them the Grecians. Them was Israelites. They weren't Greek. They called them Greek because you acting like a Greek. You know what I'm saying? You act just like them. We are American today. We act just like we are more American than the Americans. Mm -hmm. If we bump into the real children of God, they'll say, yo, you American. But we know that's not so. Christ never meant for us to do that. We are all one. That's why that Peter had that vision mm -hmm. that said, don't call anything unclean that the Lord meant cleanse. The Lord cleansed them other tribes. You know what I'm saying? Through the fire. They went through it. We came over here 400 years ago. They've been over here being subjugated. You know what I'm saying? Being oppressed, being sold in the sex trafficking rings. Like, the Most High have a way of dealing with our people, but they are accepted. So, no, Ruth was not an Israelite. Ruth, I mean, Ruth was not a Moabite, Slavia. Ruth was actually an Israelite. You know what I'm saying? And um, it's good to ask these questions, but you always want to keep it simple. Stick on the things that you can grow by. Stick on the basics. Find out who is God. Once you learn who God is, Psalms 147 and 19 through 20, you'll understand that the most high God in this Bible is not dealing with any other nation of people. If it's not about his children, he's not dealing with them. And the way he deal with us, he ain't even dealing with us. He used the prophets. He used the prophets. And the prophets deal with us, and we hate the prophets. It's our history of hating the prophets. We hated Jesus Christ. We hated him because he wanted you to change. Now, stop. You can't eat pork over there in the temple. You know what I'm saying? So, yes, always understand that things, the Most High God is special to Israel. That's why he always says, I'm the God of Israel. 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 You know what I'm saying? And then we've been led away uh to captive to so many nations and to so many other gods that sometimes when we do realize we're Israel, we are already being labeled as Gentiles. So yes, Ruth is definitely an Israelite. You'll know when they had the council. When they had the council of who should marry her, they went by the Levitical law, the law of inheritance. Who, When a person's rib dies, the brother has to marry the rib. And if she was a heathen, she couldn't be married. Not in the city of Jerusalem. 
So, um, that's it on that. You got anything more more questions? Pop them in the chat. <laughs> Somebody named Naomi just joined. That's, that's, that's crazy. That's crazy, that's right? That's letter. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, you can call that. You can read that scripture. You got it. All right. This is the book of Revelations. Chapter 1, verse 3. Do our Akim, our Wafi, and have it? Come. Again, it's the book of Revelations. Chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed is he that readeth. No, him that just hear. Blessed is he that readeth. No, he just got to have faith. Blessed is he that readeth. So the Bible here is saying in Revelations chapter 1, verse 3, blessed is he that readeth. This is why, this is a part of the reason why we dig so deep into these prophecies and dig so deep into the scriptures. Because blessed is he that readeth. Before we met the priests and prophets, we didn't know to really read the Bible. Every so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American man, number one punchline is, I read the whole Bible. Mm -hmm. I read the whole Bible. We'll all tell you that. I read the whole Bible. Um, Con, give me two seconds. After the scripture, I'll answer that question for Galatians 3 and 28. You know what I'm saying? We, we read the whole Bible and still didn't find out that we are God's chosen people. You know what I'm saying? You need the priests and the prophets to break it down for you. Or you're not going to understand Isaiah 1 and 3. The ox know of his owner. The ass is master's tread. But Israel, my people, do of not know. They don't even consider it. You will have to have that precept to understand, yo, he talking about us. You know what I'm saying? So the Bible says, blessed is he that readeth. Keep going. Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things. No, I just hear those things. And keep those things. No, I just talk about those things. And keep those things which are written therein. And keep those things which are written therein. What are the things that's written therein? Passover, Sabbath, you know what I'm saying? Love thy brother, love thy neighbor, get on one accord, you know what I'm saying? What, what, there's many things that's in here, but blesses those who keep those things mm -hmm. that's, that's written therein. Keep going. For the time is at hand. For the what? The time is at hand. The time is at hand. The time is now. If you so-called black, Hispanic, and Native American, pick your Bible up. Wipe the ashes off of it the, from the smoking or the weed and the cigarettes. Put the ashes away from the Bible. Crack the dust off it from not reading it. And open that thing up and follow along with the prophets. Follow along. Follow along. Everybody keeps saying that. That's crazy. Christianity is bad. Alcohol is not a sin. You know what I'm saying? Alcohol, they say you got alcohol in the back. Maybe I should turn my camera. Because y'all so simple. Mm -hmm. like, we read in the scripture, you talking about alcohol in the back. Damn. Jesus Christ drunk wine. His eyes were red. You know what I'm saying? That, ain't that your Jesus? Ain't your, do you love Jesus? You know what I'm saying? This is what shows our people. Like We hold on to the traditions of men. The church told us we can't drink. The church told us we can't drink. I'm not getting fed. Being a drunkard is a sin. Being a drunkard is a sin. You know what I'm saying? You cannot be a drunkard in the school. You cannot be a drunkard and follow Christ. You know what I'm saying? Noah became a drunkard after what he did, but the most, it's, it's, it's a difference. You know what I'm saying? But the, we are not to be drinking, to be drunk. You know what I'm saying? We are not drunk here in the ICPK. So follow along. We got Revelation. We have Roman Revelations 1 and 3. Blessed is he that readeth. The topic of today is why do we study the Bible? Because if you study the Bible, you would never even say there's alcohol there. Because alcohol is not a sin. You know what I'm saying? The Christ has swords coming out of his mouth. It's a metaphor. You know what I'm saying? So some things are metaphors, some things are not. So if I say, oh, I'm pulling up to the crib, the crib is a metaphor. But pulling up is I'm, is not. I'm pulling up to the crib. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be black to understand. But isn't disrespectful for something mind altering to be around you as you're speaking? See, you're talking of the world. Where is that at in the Bible? Where's that at in the Bible? And this goes back to why do we study the Bible? Because people, so people cannot question the things that we do. Because we know the most high God. And hereby we know that we know him. 
God. Hereby we know that we know him, that we keep his commandments. That we keep his commandments. You know what I'm saying? We have to understand that. We have to keep these commandments. So the brother got a question. I hope you're still on. He got a question in Galatians 3 and 28. So you can drop that right there because the time is at hand. This is why we read and study these scriptures. Come, I got you. I'm going to it right now. Because I know you were taught in Christ... Oh, oh, Salakia says. Is you, are you so-called black, Hispanic, or Native American? If you don't mind me asking. So it's a girl online, an aqua fan, I suppose. We're going to let the spirit bear so with 3 and 20, 28? 3 and 28, you know, the classic. <laughs> they done told us in church, right, that this means that it don't matter what race you are. So now I got a question for you. Oh, okay, okay. She is a sister. She was a part of one body and I was shy, but she left. Yeah, because there's only one body. They got that correct about that. And they were not it. The one body is the ISUBK. You know what I'm saying? Which all these other fake Israelite groups came out of. They all left. Okay, so we got it. So, uh, did they... <laughs> so... They, they love this. The Bible... The Bible explains about the nature of the people who enslaved us. And the, what the Bible says about them is actually accurate. So I won't answer that right now. Right now we're gonna go into the question for the sis. You wanna, I, I don't understand if you wanna break down, but we're in Galatians chapter three, verse 28. This is class, we are in school, you know what I'm saying? So understand that um, things will be broken down in decency and order, you know what I'm saying? So what we'll do is we'll talk about this first because it's a question, Galatians three and 28. The question is, okay, so what about this? Because I, I told them, the people, God only loved the Israelites. So they're like, oh, if you don't really love the Israelites, what about Galatians 3 and 28? <laughs> so we're here right now. We're going to see. We're going to see what the Bible says. And this is why we study the Bible. Because all you have to do is go up a little and go down a little and read what it says. You know what I'm saying? Read what it says and you'll see what it's saying. So go ahead. Read, read straight verse 28. Come. This is the book of Galatians, chapter 3, verse 28. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There's neither what? Jew nor Greek. There's neither what? Jew nor Greek. So we take that to mean, right, that it don't matter where you is, but the Bible is saying there's neither Jew nor Greek. So if you are any other race outside of Greek, then it's not talking to you. If you was any other thing besides a Jew or a Greek, this conversation is not about you. Keep going. God. There is neither bond nor free. There's neither slave nor slave master. There's neither slave nor slave master. So if you're not a slave or a slave master, then they ain't talking about you. Keep going. There is neither male nor female. Is the, so now is, is there no longer males or females? Now is it? All right, watch this. Read it. Come. For ye all, Slocky, for ye are all one in Christ Jesus. So that means we're all the same race now. That means we're all the same sex now. No, it's not saying that. That's not what it's saying. It's not what it's 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 talking about the brotherhood. You have to understand what it's talking about. First and foremost, you have to understand the Bible first. Mm -hmm. You have to understand. All right, let me ask you a question. Who are these Greeks that it's talking about? Anybody got the answer to it? Type them in the chat. Who are these Greeks that the Bible is talking about? When it say there is neither Jew nor Greek, who are the Greeks that the Bible is talking about? I'm going to give you a few seconds, and then I'm going to get it out the apocrypha. Who are the Greeks that the Bible is talking about when it says there is neither Jew nor Greek? That's not what it's saying. That's not what it's saying. Nope. Alex, nope. Try again. 
Who are the Greeks that the Bible was talking about when it said there's neither Jew nor Greek? Nobody know? Okay. So the Greeks here that is talking about in the Bible are talking about Israelites. Israelites that was Hellenized. With the word, the term Hellenized mean that they were made into Greeks by dropping their customs and taking on the customs of the people who enslaved them. Because in the Apocrypha, which I got right here, and I'm going to bring up the scripture, I believe it's 1 Maccabees. In the Apocrypha, we went to war with the Greeks and lost. What she said? No, that's not what it's talking about. I'm gonna break it down to you.